Welcome back. We're going to be speaking about pre-weights and how can they can be used to your advantage. So uh, we're going to use the previous workspace that we just worked on. And uh, we have here the pre-show music. Now in a normal track, obviously, most songs will finish with a fade out or they'll end. And from the CD that you bought or downloaded, it's going to usually have a couple seconds of gap in there. However, there's many cases when you're creating something yourself that you need a gap on purpose. Or for in, in my show, for example, when the last song finishes, I want there to be a very long gap as the lights fade down before the show actually starts. And no one's firing the start manually, it's coming automatic from the computer. So I want a pre-wait in there, in my case about eight to nine seconds. And I'm gonna show you how to add a pre-wait right now. You're gonna grab your first track, okay? And you see right here there's a column that says pre-wait. All right, we're gonna put double click so we can type in there. And we're gonna grab the that's your milliseconds, your seconds, and your minutes. So once again, this is minutes, this is your seconds, and this column is your milliseconds. We're gonna put in there four seconds, hit enter, okay? Now, watch what happens when this song starts. I'm gonna hit start, uh, go, three, two, one. Nothing's happening as that's counting down. Now it starts to play. Okay, so if we go and we add all of these tracks, we don't need the first one to have a pre-weight, but let's say, every, well actually let's do all of them. We're going to highlight all of these, whoops, and we're going to go, can I highlight all of these pre-weights? Yes I can. So if you want to highlight them all at once, you're going to go once again back into your inspector. You're going to go back to your inspector window right here, and you're going to type in two seconds. So after every, before every song starts, you're going to have a two-second pre-wait. All right? So let's grab the entire group and fire the entire group by hitting the space bar. Pre-wait. Another pre-wait. Another pre-wait. And that will give you time in between each and every track. So that's how you do a pre-weight, and pre-weights can be added to any cue. And when you start getting into the um, into the really more complicated programming of Q Lab, you're going to use pre-weights uh, pre a lot. Um, and I'll show you exactly how to do that right now.